Hello everyone, I'm sharing a story that happened two months ago, but I'm just getting around to posting it now. Fair warning, I tend to be a bit chatty, so this might be a longer post than usual. I'm a 19-year-old trans man, and I've kept my identity hidden from others. I recently made a big move to the United States from Africa. I'm not sharing the exact country for privacy and safety reasons to pursue my studies abroad. I left Africa because of certain difficulties I faced. I had hoped that in America, I could build a life where I could be my authentic self. But unfortunately, it seems like America is just as hostile towards trans people as Africa was. To make matters worse, my family here in the U.S. is even more strict, close-minded, and traditional than my family back home. For those who aren't aware, being an international student comes with a hefty price tag. My family is comfortable, but we're not swimming in wealth either. To make ends meet, I had to move in with my family here in America, at least temporarily. Now, on to the main story. A year ago, my cousin graduated from community college and was moving on to a university to finish their degree. We're all taking this path because it's more affordable. Of course, we all had to attend the graduation ceremony, and I'm sure others from immigrant families can understand. But my family was adamant about dressing up fancy, maybe even too fancy for the occasion. I have a strong dislike for dresses. I felt this way for as long as I can remember, even before I realized I was trans. I dislike how I look in them, how they make me feel, and wearing them in public makes me feel anxious and uncomfortable like I'm on the verge of a panic attack. Being forced to wear dresses is really distressing for me. You can probably guess what happened next. I was made to wear a dress to the graduation ceremony. In my culture, you're not allowed to argue or disobey your elders, no matter how old you are. I tried to express my discomfort as much as I could, but ultimately, I had no choice but to obey. The decision was made, and I had to accept it. That day was incredibly tough for me and I felt overwhelmed with distress. I'm not afraid to admit that I had dark thoughts about self-harm. Anyway, this year was my turn to graduate and I knew all along that the same scenario would play out again. My family would ask me what I wanted to wear, but even if I had a suitable suit for the occasion, they would still insist on taking me dress shopping and make me wear a dress to the graduation. Please note that I've rephrased the sentence I genuinely wanted to unalive myself that day to avoid using language that may be potentially harmful or triggering for some individuals. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to ask. This year, I was determined to be ready. I haven't mentioned it yet, but I've been working hard on my physical health for over a year and a half now, focusing on weight loss and building my strength. The experience last year actually motivated me to push myself even harder in my fitness journey. Exercise has become a way for me to cope with my body dysphoria. As a result, I've not only developed a more masculine physique, but also gained a sense of confidence and self-pride in my appearance, which is amazing. As I mentioned earlier, my family holds traditional views and strict gender expectations. They have a hard time accepting individuals who don't conform to traditional gender norms. Specifically, they have a strong dislike for girls who appear masculine and boys who appear feminine. They have a particular distaste for muscular women, viewing them as unnatural and unattractive. This year, when they mentioned going dress shopping for my graduation, I didn't argue or resist. Instead, I went along with it, pretending to be okay with it. While we were shopping, I intentionally chose dresses that were tight-fitting, sleeveless, and even ones that I knew weren't flattering on me. I did this as a way to subtly assert my own preferences and boundaries, even if it was just a small act of defiance. I've been able to keep my physical transformation a secret from my family by only wearing loose and oversized clothing around the house. This has allowed me to hide my progress and avoid drawing attention to my body, which has been important for me as I navigate my gender identity and expression. When it was time to try on the dresses, I came out of the dressing room, 
and the looks on their faces were priceless. I had to struggle to keep a straight face and not burst out laughing. Although I'm not the most muscular person, I'd developed a noticeable physique and in those dresses. I looked undeniably masculine. It was clear that I didn't fit their traditional gender expectations and they were shocked and displeased. I found it hilarious and it was a moment of triumph for me, even if it was just an internal victory. The irony is that they couldn't even criticize my body because my weight has always been a sensitive topic in my family. They've often commented on my need to lose weight, so now that I've achieved that, they're unable to complain about my appearance. Even though they dislike my masculine physique, it's like I've taken away their ammunition and they're left struggling to reconcile their traditional gender expectations with their desire to see me succeed in my weight loss journey. I was tempted to strike a pose, flexing my muscles as I exited the dressing room, but I decided that might be too bold. To make a long story short, they disliked every dress and ultimately relented, allowing me to wear my suit, which I felt much more confident and comfortable in. Although I achieved my goal, I now receive constant comments from them about exercising too much, which can be frustrating, but I know it's a small price to pay for being true to myself. On a positive note, now that I've graduated, I'm finally moving out this summer. I'm hoping that with more independence and less fear of judgment, I'll be able to live my life more authentically and freely. This new chapter brings me hope and excitement for a brighter future where I can be myself without fear of repercussions. It sounds like you're looking forward to a fresh start and a new beginning. I'm sending you all the best vibes for this exciting new chapter in your life. TLDRI, a closeted trans man, was forced by my traditional family to wear a dress for graduation, but I had been working out and got muscular, so I looked like a man in a dress. They didn't like it, but it was a small victory for me. It's great that you were able to find a way to assert your identity and expression, even in a small way. Remember that you deserve respect, love, and acceptance for who you are.